Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. Congresswoman, always great to see you too. Um, let's go ahead and, and leave uh, where uh, pick up where we left off with the senator talking about infrastructure. Your thoughts on how this, um, you know, and when this enters the House, what the conversation is going to be. Well, as you know, uh, we're a little more delayed than the Senate is. Uh, they've already passed it. However, uh, we're still sifting through the bill, trying to find out where it's good for Americans and for New Yorkers. Uh, what I'll say is, what for my initial look at it, it seems that there's a lot of positive things in there for New York. Uh, we have a tremendously aging infrastructure, and certainly the money for transit, the money for our area airports, uh, the money for the maritime industry, for upgrading uh, water systems would be very beneficial. So we're trying to weigh the good and the bad yeah. and see where we end up. I'm the only New York City member that sits on the Transportation Infrastructure Committee, so it's important that I make the right decision here. Yeah, and it's it's a bipartisan bill, and look, the trillion dollars there, you can make the argument that this, you know, the majority of it does work on some of the hard infrastructure that we need to address in this country. There are some other things um, that are in there, but this is separate from the three and a half trillion, um, you yeah. know, and that we do need a certain amount of spending right now to continue um, keeping the economy afloat, and, and that these long-term projects will help the country. It's the three and a half trillion that then becomes questionable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And and my concern is that this package that was just passed by the Senate on infrastructure will be tied to that three and a half trillion, which I think is very damaging. I think this is uh, socialism. It is a package that is looking to push further people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders' socialist agenda. So I do really hope that these are separate bills. There's mm -hmm. difference between necessities that we need for economic growth and population growth, like transportation, infrastructure, investment, and then all of this type of socialism, government control, uh, that is exactly what this is about. It's about making people dependent on the government, and that's certainly not the direction that we should be going in in this country. Congresswoman, your thoughts as well on Governor Cuomo resigning today? Well, I've uh, called for him to resign in February, so it took six months. Uh, initially, my calls for his resignation were related to the nursing home scandal in which he mismanaged and made bad decisions, placing positive patients in those nursing homes. I still, be still think strongly that the House Judiciary, the Assembly Judiciary Committee needs to move forward with its investigation. We do need to have transparency, those documents that led up to that decision, even after there were alternatives to place these individuals at the Javis Center and U.S. Navy Comfort Ship were there. Uh, so I, I believe the governor needs to be held accountable. Resignation does not equal accountability, That's but it's right. certainly a start. Uh, and and, and the, the, the sexual harassment, the corroboration of those stories, uh, it, this is a, a good day for those victims who suffered uh, by his sexual misconduct. Uh, but certainly, I think that there's more to come. Oh, absolutely. A lot of questions still unanswered. Wonderful to see you tonight, Congresswoman. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, the double standard on masks. Squad